Hey, welcome to part two of my video series on how to build your own scratch-built plane. Now, in my last video, I covered all the electronics, hardware, and building materials you're going to need to get started. But in this video, I'm going to be explaining how to download and print out your PDF plans, and also how to cut out all the individual pieces of foam in order to start with the assembly. So stay tuned for part three, where I'm going to be covering the entire build in detail. But right now, let's get to downloading the plans for the F-22 version 2 from RC Powers. Okay, so to get started, you're going to want to go to rcpowers.com and then you can make a free account and that's going to enable you to download plans and it's also going to give you an active form where you can ask questions and get information. So once you've made your account, you can go to the products page and like I said in my previous video, they have a large variety of PDF plans available to download. But since we're making the F-22 version 2, that's the plan that you're going to have to get um, in order to follow this video series. So once you're on the F-22 version 2 page, um, you can scroll down and that'll show you where to get your parts and also how to buy your plans. So once you've got the plans for the F-22 version 2, you can go to My Account and then sign in with your username and password if you haven't done so already. So once you're inside your account, you can click on F-22 version 2 and when you click on it, it should automatically download. And if you're a beginner, I'd recommend downloading the tiled PDF version of the plans, which I'll be doing here in the video. And if you scroll down, it'll show you the individual pieces of paper you'll be downloading, and as you'll see, it's quite a few. Then you can open the file menu and click print. And it's really important that you set your scale to exactly 100%. If it's any more or less, then your plans won't be the right size. So once you've printed out all your pieces of paper, you should have exactly 23 sheets. Now the first two that you'll be using is going to be your assembly guide and your page layout. All the rest are going to be your actual plans that you're going to be laying side by side, taping together and then cutting out. Well, and that's going to make your final blueprint, which is going to look like this, and this is a half of a wing, for example. But before we can do anything, you're going to have to take scissors and then cut around every single piece of paper right along the bold line until the final product looks like this. So once you've cut the edges off all your pieces of paper, it's time to tape them together. We're going to lay every sheet of paper side by side to make one giant sheet, and then we're going to cut the plans out from there. So use your page layout to find out where each piece of paper goes, and all the pieces of paper are numbered. So for example, there's four and five. As you can see, there's four and five. And then you can just line it up right like that. And then we're going to put tape along all the lines.
one thing you want to make sure you do is to have all these inside lines perfectly even when you're taping it together. It's not as important to have the outside edges um, even as it is to have the inside. Alright, so when I'm lining this up, I just want to make sure those edges there are just perfectly square, as good as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it as close as you can possibly get it. And so now that's even, and all I have to do is put some tape there, and I'm done. Alright, so I just got done taping all the plans together. So now it's time to cut out each individual plan using a scissors. Just cutting right along those lines. But before we do that, I like to take an X-Acto knife or a utility knife and just cut all the paper out of those notches or slots, whatever you want to call them like I did, there and there. And to do that, I'm just going to basically take my knife, cut along the lines, that way I can get that done before I start cutting out the plans and it's much easier than trying to use the scissors. And just take that out just like that. It's done. Okay, so now I'm going to cut out each individual plan using my scissors. So let's get started. Now we have the plan for the main wing. Now that I've cut out all of my plans, it's time to use them as a template and put them onto the foam sheet. Now you're going to have to fasten it on there somehow, and a lot of people like to use spray glue and just spray it right onto the foam, but I found that household thumbtacks like I showed you earlier um, are just a lot easier to deal with. Then you can just tack it right in there and it holds it right in place, whereas uh, spray glue just makes a big mess. And here's a plan that I've used multiple times. As you can see, it has a bunch of holes in it, but um, it, the thumbtacks aren't going to ruin your plans no matter how many times you use them. So now I'm done with the first sheet of foam. Now the reason I left the empty spaces is because any plan that says times two on it, um, you're going to have to make two of them. So once I make a second one of that and that, that's going to fill up the empty spaces there.
So now that I've used up all the plans, it's time to start tracing around them and get the shape of them onto the foam. Now I just use an ordinary pen to trace around my plans, and there might be something better out there, but this is what I use. So basically, I just make dotted lines, maybe three or four inches apart, going all the way up and down the length of the, of the plans, making sure to get the points and corners really well so they're visible when I'm going to be cutting them out. Okay, so in this case, I have a times two piece, so I'm going to take it off right away <clears throat> and make another one right up here. <clears throat> now I'll just trace the piece again, so I'll have two um, prints of it on the foam. Okay, so now I'm going to be making the second half of the wing. So I'll just remove it and put it straight onto my second sheet of foam. Just save as much space as possible here. I'll put the tacks back in. And now. I'm ready to trace around a second wing. Okay, now I'm done tracing around all the plans, but before we start taking paper off, there's one more thing we have to do, and that is marking where we're going to be doing the score cutting once the paper's off. Now, score cutting is basically just cutting halfway through anywhere where there's a dotted line, but we're going to have to know where to do that once the paper's off, like I mentioned. So I'm just going to make a little small mark right where the score line meets the edge of the paper, Maybe one right here too, just to help us remember to, to make a score cut right through the middle. Same with here, here, if I can do that. And then maybe one right here. So now I'm done tracing around all the plans and I've got the pattern of the plans right onto the foam. So now it's time to start cutting them out using a ruler and a utility knife. But before I start cutting out the actual pieces, I'm going to be doing the score cutting that I marked out, out earlier. And like I said, I'm only going to be cutting halfway through. So I'm going to be doing that mark that I made right there, all the way to the edge. Just making a nice straight cut with the ruler, making sure it only cut about halfway through the foam. And as you can kind of see, there's a cut mark there. That's going to allow that whole piece to bend 
on either side, and, and that's going to help make the 3D nose, but we're going to be talking about that later. All right, now it's time to start cutting out the pieces, and this time I'm going to be cutting all the way through, going all the way around each piece. And I'm going to cut out those slots, notches that I um, brought out earlier. And now I've got a piece for the main wing. As you can see, you can just pop this right out. And I'm going to do the same for that and that. Now, done cutting out all the so now I'm done cutting out all the pieces for the F-22, so we're ready for the build. But that's going to have to wait till part three, so stay tuned if you want to see the entire build video of the RC Powers F-22.